Hey, Chapel here, and today we're playing some random co-op in the Spiritual Assault. So I'm playing as Bird this run, and I'm just doing a kind of revive build, so hopefully be relying on uh, on the teammates for most of the boss damage at the very least, but this run will be playing melee with uh, a lot of defensive ascensions and such, so you're able to get impossibly tanky on Bird, so can get in a position where you just won't die, and it's very strong in co-op. So, we've not got our melee weapon yet, so we'll just use whatever in the meantime, but as soon as we get any of the uh, free melee weapons, such as that, there we go, then yeah, we'll swap to this. And, uh, if we get anything good for our teammates, we'll probably be funneling a lot of stuff to them. I think it's between mutual respect and banishing talisman here, but it's good to get the curse immunity early on to be honest, so take that. <coughs> All or nothing straight away, but steel armor we want to get two points in, so I'll just grab the first point in that now. got another curse scroll set up here it's either that or resilient life are the good ones but good and evil has potential to be much better later on i'm gonna go check out that peddler in a sec <clears throat> okay explosive bullets we don't use here dash hands is okay We've not got a Peddler reroll in this build, so that's a bit unfortunate. We don't get quite as many scrolls and stuff from that, but the uh, the slots in um, this build though is is quite uh, quite tricky to fit everything in because want to get all the stuff to help out people with revives and also give our self buffs from revive. I'll show the uh, I'll show the full thing at the end, so. Um, so you guys can have a look at that. I'll take the uh, Brutal Gloves. First point in Gigantic exp Explosion, that's good. We want to certainly get that maxed out by the end, that's one of our most important. But yeah, good uh, good Ascension RNG so far. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep... Uh, upgrading the poisonous ghost for now. I won't spend money on it, but any that uh, I get from level ups I'll definitely be doing into the sword. So um, the reason I've I've not really been doing much uh, co-op previously on the channel and that's because the uh, graphics card I had previously was uh, not very good. It kept making me crash during co-op like all the time. I pretty much couldn't get to the end of a run without that happening. But I, I recently got a new graphic card, so this finally uh, finally becomes possible, which is very nice. Because uh, co-op's good fun, especially uh, I think Spirit Assault works really well for co-op. Because um, regular game mode, it can be a bit annoying because like, everything just kind of instantly dies, but there's so much stuff on the screen during this that it makes it quite well designed for co-op. I've got a uh, flowing light here as well, so I can use either of these swords. I'm gonna just use the flowing light for a bit, and I'll take the wait for good, and well, these are interesting options here because they all set up quite nicely into stuff, but I can never go wrong with close combat here, so I'll just take that. Yeah, the um, Fierce Wings isn't particularly good if I decide to run Poisonous Ghost in the end, so I wouldn't really want to take that. And uh, Last Stand is very good, but I kind of need to get the Armor Break synergies first. And uh, I don't want to take that um, until I know for sure, so for now it's just a lot safer to take um, the guaranteed value from the melee range, because I know I'm going to be doing that. Interesting refresh addict. That does make me want to try the Devil's Covenant potentially. I might end up getting a paranormality later. And the other scrolls are pretty bad here, so 
I really don't see myself dying right now, so I think I'm pretty safe to take this. The uh, little bit of max health really doesn't make a difference. Usually if you're dying in spiritual assault, it's because you're like later into the run and you just get locked up by a shark or something. So I don't think having the uh, minus 50% max health will matter, especially when this build um should mostly be using your armor regardless. You shouldn't be having to rely on your health. And we want the move speed here for sure. Oh, what? I didn't clear the balls. There we go. Oh, someone's applying fire. That's good. Oh, we got a fire tower on monkey. I might uh, start applying corrosive instead then. The uh, corrosive is a lot more useful here for the team. Easy kill, interesting. Between that and Iron Scud. take a moment to think about this, but honestly I'll probably take easy kill with how early it is. I'll end up getting value from it. And it takes it out of the pool so it easy, makes it easier to get rank freeze of our other stuff. Um I'll keep throwing upgrades into the uh poisonous ghost for now instead of um putting more in the flowing light. Glaze sight. Uh, I could grab that for someone else, right? No, it can't be discarded. Thunder screen is incredible, though. That's really good to see. I won't use my uh, my rerolls from my um my thing. I'll probably just save that for like at the end. And uh, that's ready up. Yeah, if I have any leftover gold at the end, I'll uh, use it for that. But. Until then, I just want to save my gold so I can get my uh, weapon upgrades once I eventually get something I'm going to keep. What? I think I killed that one. That's fine. Yeah, we've got... Uh, We've not got much secondary skill charge at the moment, so we have to be quite conservative about how we use the, um... Oh, what's that? 100? I don't know. Okay, interesting. Because, yeah, we'll run out of uh, these immediately if we're just spamming the cleaves, so... We want to stack up easy kill, but not be just using it non-stop. It's a definite corrosive shard. So yeah, this just gives me way more incentive to run Poisonous Ghost because I just want to get value from that. And hopefully I can now find Corrosive Enthusiast because that becomes incredibly good. Both a move speed boost and a uh, and also a damage boost and also a defensive scroll. It just does everything for me. Rank 2 of the Gigantic Explosion is perfect. Wait, where's he at? There we go. Wait, oh! Wait, have we killed him already? Oh. I, I didn't even see. <laughs> uh, energy sandals? I'm gonna need a grey. Yeah, it's just gotta be energy sandals, right? It gives skill damage at least. It's not a great boost, but. I can farm some easy kill stacks off these. Oh wait, there's a thingy here. Elemental Stoneman or Thunder Step. I think the Thunder Step's good here. Safety measures. Elite Assassin. Oh, perfect. Elite Assassin is busted in Spiritual Assault. I mean, it's uh, just a ridiculously good scaling scroll. In Co-op especially, the number of elites there are later on, you just get a silly damage boost from this scroll. Fully equipped, easy choice. Let's jump CDR, damage, and armory jump. Just 
very good mix of stats. It's uh, not great to max out, but as a one pointer, it's perfect. Hey, okay, get some easy kills. There we go. More easy kill. Because, yeah, each of the tiny, like, um, things that the Kappa summons, if you break those with Cleave, that's all stacked towards easy kill. More points into Sword. Ah, oh, damn. That's a shame. And we're getting close to the boss. We'll use this little, um extra thing as soon as the boss is spawned. Just speed that up. And we got max, <laughs> max out uh, gigantic explosion ready. That's insane. And another good scroll, vindictive. Hmm. I just want the. <laughs> I just want the perma leaps. I get the minus damage, but honestly, I, I don't really care. I was mostly um sort of doing this as the uh, revive tank build. Though no, no one's uh no one's dying yet, so you don't really have to worry about that. These guys are playing pretty well. I mean, this part of the uh, part of spiritual assault isn't too hard early on, but yeah, hopefully I'll start getting some value from revives a bit later, because I'll, I'll be surprised if no one dies for the whole run. Like, um, Turtle's pretty tanky, but yeah, it'd be tricky for uh, Monkey to not die the whole time unless he's really, like, high rolled the uh, defensive. Booster and give it to someone else. Uh, I can drop through here, right? Yeah, I can. Cool. Wow, we're running two melee weapons right now. <laughs> Don't see many people play uh, melee with monkey. But, like, I'm kind of locked into going for this, so we might struggle a bit on boss if he's still using that by the end of the run. That said, it depends how much he's relying on the weapon or if he's just doing primary skill, because if he's doing primary skill, it might not even matter. He might still have good boss down. It's mostly a... Uh, mostly bird that has the issues with uh, if you do a melee build, you're going to be great during this part of the game, but you're not going to really contribute to the boss fight. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Mostly lanterns, probably, but... So I think I'll, prob I'll probably just keep doing um, upgrades for Poisonous Coast for now. No one's taken the uh, skill booster yet. No. I guess uh, Monkey doesn't really get anything from it, so it's only really a uh, turtle that can benefit right now. I can take Fire Enthusiast. I could uh, activate um, Deadly Counter if I get that and then I will probably end up getting fire share, so... Uh, no, that's not got Gemini. That's a... Got a lot of enemies here. Definitely using right click for that. Yeah, we'll just take the uh, fire enthusiast. Oh, there we go. Rank 2 steel armor. That's uh, our invincibility. Ta-da. With uh, 
together with our 80% um, cooldown reduction, like, it's basically flood. Oh, there we go, my thingy value. No, don't, don't you dare steal it. No, that's me. There we go. <laughs> yeah, how, how dare he steal my revive? That's my buff. I called it though, there we go. It's, uh, it's monkey with the first death. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't need snow boots. I got corrosive shard. Boom. Bluff and lifesaver. I may as well just get lifesaver in case I mess up. I probably won't need to activate it all around, but. Okay, fire tower with uh, spores on it. Oh, vindictive nature uh, is gonna be permanently active now from uh, fire enthusiast. It kind of already was, just with how much I'm, like, leaping in, but um, now it certainly will always be active. I think someone else is applying corrosive right now. It's very uh, convenient for me. Evil Devouring, I want that. And now we want to start seeing red chests have, uh, have some curses in. I'll check that one in just a sec. I think it should be, like, the break period in a second. I can't remember how far it is through. Let's just have a look now. There we go. Curse scroll for legendary. Oh, God. Lila shield. Better than nothing. Probably trade it off to a uh, monkey or someone during the break period. Now that I think about it though, that keeps them alive. I don't want that. <laughs> I want my revise. <laughs> Nah, I'll, I'll be selfish, actually. I'll, I'll just keep this to myself. <laughs> More leap damp. Very good. Yeah, we just want all or nothing now. It um, doesn't matter if I can't regen all the elm back right now, because I still just um, have my 100% damage reduction. So yeah, it, it's like all good if uh, if I have no armor at all. I can be on whatever health if I'm not taking damage. And also it lets me activate Thunder Screen as well as all, all or nothing. So we've already got that synergy in place. Just throw upgrades into the fire tower for now. Oh, that's a shared element. Okay. Sharks already. Just, oh. Clone. Wait, what did I take? I don't I don't know what I took. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> that's uh that's a little annoying. Take, I'll take the flying light. I might actually play with this, to be honest. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, shields and armor, for sure. And I'm going to take this opportunity to do my upgrades. Uh, okay. Come on. There we go. I'll just run this. I'll start throwing in upgrades now. Yeah, we have... Oh, damn. We actually don't have Corrosive currently. Also, yeah, I, I uh, if I want to activate Martin well, Genesis, it's kind of bad to take the Flowing Light here. Because I've got synergies for Fire and for Corrosive. So I can't take all three if I'm... Flying or flying lights. Yeah, it's kind of a mess up actually to start upgrading this because I think I would want to swap out. There's all or nothing though. That's very good to see. Oh, where, where are these at? 
Oh, nice. Someone used uh, the buff. Oh, shit. There we go. I think that's a lance that got him. Oh, there's a few of them. Killed any of them yet, have we? Oh, there we go. There's one. Ta da! Oh, rich privileges, wow. Okay, no more. I don't think I'll really do weapon upgrades for now then, if uh, I can just get this instead. Elemental Relic, I'll just take that here, I think. Is, oh, the Corrosive Enthusiast is good, but I'll have to swap out weapon for it. Elemental Relic's just like always going to give some value. Oh, no, okay, that's cool. Here we go. Oh wow, okay, we're just taking that. Yeah, it's a shame to waste the uh to have wasted the upgrades, but this is just flat out better. It's got orange inscription on, it's perfect. Nova shockwave, perfect. This is a big damage boost too with the armor break. scrolls there. No value from any of those really, but... Oh! He came and just one hit them. <laughs> wow. Uh, rational consumption, very good. Yeah, I just have to take that, right? Oh, what? Oh, I, I thought we had cleared the uh, elite. Oops. Where's he gone? Come in. leap every time. I uh, guess just extra lucky shot. And let's go visit the peddler quick. And it's probably worth it to do upgrades at all. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm sure I'll take veteran. It makes me lose a bit of skill damage but that's fine. Oh shit. Oh, 
Nice. Buff for me. Yeah, this build's really going to come into its element when uh, it gets to the really hectic point in the game where there's just enemies everywhere. Uh, I'm actually going to take the Steel Armor free here. It's not usually very good, but because I haven't got the other forms of armor regen, to get my max value from um, my armor breaks each time, this will hopefully sort of do the job for me. more enemies up here, let's head back up. <laughs> Gotta try and find somewhere that a monkey isn't just one hitting everything. I'll go off on my own for a bit. Ooh, another red chest, would be a curse. this? Is it down here? Oh, it must be. There we go. Uh, rare scroll. Magnetic coil. That's good, actually. That's got uh, all three elements for me. I can just get uh, my asthma on everything now without having to uh, rely on someone else applying the lightning. As soon as, uh, as soon as there starts being random elite spawns too, um, my damage is going to skyrocket from Elite Assassin stacking up. I've only got five so far, but once that starts scaling really quickly, that'll be a, a big boost. Oh. oh, here we go. Yeah, there's starting to be some uh, good stacks of enemies. Started to have the uh, lobster spawning too. I'll try and prioritize those, they can be pretty annoying. Uh, Enduring Caster, that's an easy pick. I've got that, uh, what's it called? Uh, veteran, that's it. Uh, I'm going to end up dropping the Devil's Covenant as well, because that's minusing my max HP, so I'm losing damage there. I'll hold on to it for a bit longer because it's also giving me rich privileges value. Um, but I think this does eventually get dropped. Just so I get the uh, way bigger max health pool. Uh, I swear was there a red chest somewhere that I missed. I thought I saw the indicator on the map but I can't remember a lot on the screen right now so I can't see uh, any pointers to the red chest. God, with leap cooldown being so low in this build the uh, sword doesn't really get uh, much opportunity to do anything but it's still just very helpful just for the, uh, the sort of move speed. You move, move around pretty quick with this. You don't get the um, usual talent in talent tree that gives even more move speed but Swords are still pretty, uh, pretty fast. That's a take. Ah, uh, yeah, both of these are good enough to take. I'm gonna drop the reroll thing for someone. Where's the, where's the scroll? I can't find it. Is it gone? Oh, there it is. Anyone wants to make use of that, go ahead, because I'm not. Oh my god. Look at him go. Just one shot with that again. These are useless, man. Wow. Uh, I guess just hail of bullets, but those are really bad. I don't really want any of them. 
double check I checked this chest. Oh, I actually didn't. God, that would have been a bad miss if I didn't get that. That's a really good scroll as well. A curse scroll and that is such a big boost. I'll just take that. <laughs> Hail ability. Doesn't do anything whatsoever, but. Okay, here we go. We've got random leaps spawning now. And the elites are actually tanky enough for the sword to come into play at least a little bit. Oh, uh, Monkey used the buff he was holding on to. I think... Oh, that's the zero cooldown. There we go, go. Yeah, I, I can do uh, do whatever I want as long as I'm pressing leap. The only way I can die is if I get uh, hooked for too long by a shark. And even then, I've got a lifesaver right now, so I won't uh, I won't properly die until uh, I mess up twice. Oh, there's some lobsters in annoying spots at the moment. Let's clear some of these out. Seven stacks of veterans so far, and we're now up to 18 stacks of elite assassin. That's just going to keep scaling. 180% damage boost so far. This thing really needs an earthing spiritual assault. The fact it's even allowed in the pool uncapped is ridiculous with how many uh, elite spawn in full play multiplayer. Oh my god, that was a lot of orbs. If I didn't have a 100% damage reduction on me, I was actually just dead to that. But, yeah, the bird's not afraid of anything. <laughs> okay, another elite lobster spawn. Whenever you see all the uh, fire things come from the sky, that's an elite lobster. Right through your last breath, very nice. Even more CDR and even more leap damage. Very good. Oh my, what is this? What's he doing out there? <laughs> I can't even hit him. Ah, oh, I mean, I guess we've just got to leave him be, because... Yeah, he's not getting hit by me, so... So is, is that the... Oh no, he's just doing like massive combustion hits with his sword. I think that's the uh that's kind of what's doing all the damage, but I think that applies from primary skill as well, so yeah, it's just like primary skill just get lets him do the uh massive combustion procs. It's an interesting build actually. I've not really yeah, like I say, seen a huge amount of melee weapon on monkey, but yeah, it's got a fun little combo here with double melee characters. Is the yeah lobs are still just chilling out there. Kill him. That's on you guys. I <laughs> oh no. Down here. Yeah. 
Oh, no, I had you! I had you! Why'd you revive? No! Nah. I got him in time. Like, I, uh, I'd stopped him from bleeding out, but he had pressed the revive button at that point, so... Okay. Oh! <laughs> what happened? God damn. Why, it just got one hit. Uh, and... Screw it, I'll buy that. I'll buy that and then I'll drop Devil's Covenant. Okay. Yeah, his build's insane, actually. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do no, no damage on this boss, so yeah, this is all gonna be him on the, uh, on the damage. Because, yeah, it's like, eh, Turtle's build right now isn't really doing much, it's just a scorching round. It's not even got Gemini on it, so, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit weak, but let's see these combustion hits. I am actually able to hit from here with Sword, that's nice. Well, I'll just keep pressing leap. I think I can I can just tank this, right? Oh. oh. He's still squishy. I think he has taken glass cannon. Right, I'll, I'll be a revive bot. I'm not complaining. I finally get my use this run. Ah, <laughs> oh, unfortunate timing. Oh, right during his invulnerability. <laughs> wow. Wow. Those hits. <laughs> yeah, you did. What's that? Is that four billion? <laughs> wow. Yee. Yeah, these guys were good. That was a good run. <laughs> only uh, only six deaths in total. So yeah, I didn't really get much value from uh good man, but still, good fun. Let's let's have a quick look through of the build before going. Yeah, obviously my one just low leap cooldowns, perma invincibility, and then from the Spirit Concatenator, it's just the standard like uh, level up scaling, deft moves for the immunity potential. I mean, I'm already immune, but eh, I don't know, why not? Uh, bus for melee weapons, <laughs> minus damage from enemies, even more defense. Um, good man for the revives together with combat medic to speed them up. And finally, just the boost to the leaps and cleaves. And let, let's have a look at the others. So yeah, that was a fire tower build. Fire tower primary skill. And just one aura protection for his defensive. So yeah, that did make it hard for him to survive on the boss fight. He's playing glass cannon with aura protection as his only defensive, really. He's got the airbag to kind of save him, but... Oh wait, he had flesh and bones. No... Now that was as a misplay, to be fair. Even though he has like veteran and stuff, he shouldn't take flesh and bones on the boss because um airbag keeps him alive. It's uh yeah, because he's he's just trying to do like all full max HP build, but it doesn't matter because the boss is just gonna one shot you, especially when you're just running on a glass cannon. So you need to just swap to um airbag, have the one shot protection, and he's fine. But yeah, in terms of his damage, he is like he picked a really good build there. I've not, I've not seen that. And or his things. Oh, so he yeah, so he was specifically scouting for a um 
for a fire tower. So yeah, he's he's forcing forcing a primary skill fire tower build. That's really good. And turtle. Turtle was kind of going yeah punch build, but yeah didn't really have anything that nuts going on. Copycat of the spirit concatenator. I'm not not sure how good this is in thingy because. It's like good in regular stages, but it's a massive um, space on your tree and it provides no value on like the boss. Uh, and he, he was scouting for pistols. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why is he wants the, uh, the pistol scouting. It's not really much reason to force pistols on um, Turtle. Like you may as well just take what you get rather than taking the weapon specific buffs, but uh, I don't know, especially with punch build. Like he doesn't really have any synergies going on here, like he's he's taken buffs to decay effect on one of his um sort of major goblets and like he's not even got a way to apply decay. So yeah, it's, it, this this build was uh was pretty scuffed. But the one from Monkey was great. But um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. It's a bit bit of a different sort of video here with the um, co-op one, but I I do really enjoy uh, co-op. So if uh, if you guys enjoyed, then um, let me know. I'll happily do uh, do some more videos of this. Anyways, have a good day. I'll see you.